So you have people out there using fancy product to clean anything. You know, just simple dish set like this. It's very, it's safe for anything. It's safe for your hands and skin and stuff. You can wash dishes all day long in it. It's definitely going to be safe for vinyl and, 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 and simple stuff like leather and, and such. But you can see just the difference. This was a white paper towel. Here you see the edges. And I just cleaned this spot here. I hope you can see it, the difference between here. I try to do it in a different light. And this is uncleaned area here. Uh, how brown this is. And it's just this leather conditioning baked with sun kind of turned brown yucky color. It's like oh, she stays on my glove. Almost looks like an engine oil or something. And uh, just I didn't clean here. You can see the difference. This is beautiful blue. And this is just looks like crap. So in my opinion the best product you can put on the vinyl top like that is, is this 303 formula. Like I said there's thousands of reviews on it it's, but this thing's been around for so long and it's been used on boats and and where most boats stuff is you know vinyl and leather and it's white and it's always exposed to the sun you know being on the lake there's no garages for boats so uh, nonetheless you build one and you got some huge house on a lake uh, most of the time your boat is exposed to the sun all the time uh, unless it's off season then they shrink wrap it but uh so that's why this stuff was developed and, and, and you know some people use leather conditioning they put it on vinyl in my opinion this stuff like I said it bakes on the sun and turns brown and it doesn't block UV rays which what breaks down the here the vinyl uh, you know other people spray, in, spray with Rain-X glass cleaner which is also gives you that kind of film and, and the water beats away and they think oh that protects my vinyl well the water is not going to hurt the vinyl uh, 409 I would never spray any stuff like that any kind of all-purpose cleaners especially the ones that have chlorine and, and the ones that are very aggressive you know I mean they clean great you cleaning your kitchen countertop and you can clean your wheels and you can clean uh, some of the interior inside that it's plastic it works great definitely avoid any kind of aggressive cleaners like that so what I use is basically, this is not a glass cleaner, I just grabbed a bottle from some cheap glass cleaner and you can see how it's foamed up. I use just simple dish sud and I probably use 20% and 80% water, you know, I get, get a solution like that. And to me, you know, if this is good for women washing their hands, washing their dishes and stuff for 10 hours a day and, and it doesn't even do anything to your skin, it's, it's you know, I mean, it's so gentle. I don't know, maybe you can you can use a baby shampoo, you know, a formula from Johnson & Johnson or something. It's even maybe more gentle. But I, the way I see it, if it doesn't damage my skin, it's definitely not going to damage this vinyl. So that's what I use. I use, uh, you know, I pour some of that and dissolve it with water, turn it into spray, and, and, and boy, does it work. I mean, I, I use a little brush like that with a fine bristles because this vinyl top, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a texture. And most most of this dirt and grime just sits in this texture so I basically do this you know just uh, all different circles and you can already see how much nicer that is if I just brush that away you can see the br brown I don't know if you can see this or not but it's like brown crap that uh, grow a paper towel that this woman put on and and you know it just looks looks like that it's just it was baked in the sun so now I just clean this spot here really quick and I'm hoping you can see the difference how how this is so brown here from this angle well the light is kinda sucky let me try maybe from this angle maybe you can see this or not how uh, this is nice and blue now and look here I didn't clean here and I didn't clean all this and it looks so brown because it's got that old moisturizer whatever the heck she was using before that it's just kind of baked on top of the vinyl uh, 
maybe you know uh, that does some protection but like I said it's it's UV rays that's what kills the vinyl so also you might people have used some uh, beeswax or other shoe conditioner you know the stuff you, you put on your shoe uh, thinking that it's gonna protect the vinyl uh, doesn't do anything to the vinyl you know it's just uh, maybe maybe when their bird poops on it it's easier to to wash if you use any of these greasy conditions because it really doesn't penetrate into the vinyl stays on top of the film that you put it on in this case would be beeswax uh, I'm assuming this is beeswax I think it's 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 uh, snow seal if you if you're a hiker like me I use tons of this stuff especially in the winter and put put globs of it on my shoes uh, keeps the uh, snow and uh, water away but I would not use it on the special type like that and I'm hope you can see this I didn't clean it here just how brown this is versus where I just cleaned and it's nice and blue so you know stick with uh, simple stuff you know soap that's you know you use it they dawn they use it on the animals when there's oil spill to clean animals you know oils and stuff from from feathers and stuff so you know it's pretty safe and then use something that has a strong UV this is SPF 40 you know it's pretty much the strongest formula you can buy and then you can you have to apply this you know I keep this car in the garage obviously um, now keeping car in the garage and I, I might have exposure to a sun a few hours a week so I have to maybe apply this twice a year you know if your car sits outside I would spray it and this goes a bottle like that goes a long way I mean this is only 16 ounce cost maybe 10 bucks or whatever and uh, you can you can buy uh, gallons of this stuff obviously and uh, it doesn't take much just few sprays just spread around nice film over the vinyl and and it's a UV protection and, and UV protection is what you want for any kind of vinyl plastic rubber you want to keep the UV rays from the sunlight out and and not grease things and thinking that's gonna help something because it doesn't it's just it's just keeps the vinyl greasy and actually some of the oils and grease can actually break down the vinyl so don't don't use any stuff like that like I said and don't use any kind of crazy cleaners just stay with simple stuff uh, that you know it's gentle and 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 you'll have uh, and you have vinyl top for for you know 50 years 